Today we're going to learn how to make nigiri sushi or hand formed sushi. Now, this is really important, especially for the nigiri sushi, to, to pay attention. So I'm going to explain everything as clearly as I can. But obviously, a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, you'll notice rice naturally sticks to your fingers, as Mai just displayed. What we have here is a mixture of rice vinegar and water. Uh, probably it's about two tablespoons of rice vinegar to that much water. You really don't need it to be much more than that. But whatever works to keep the rice from sticking to your hands. Because if you work with rice with your bare hands, you're going to have an absolute mess. No doubt about it. So that really helps you be able to manipulate the rice how you want to to be able to make the sushi. So you'll notice you took just about enough to put in your palm and once you're there uh, you'll see just like I said enough to fit in your palm at an angle like so and gently squeeze it. You don't want to mash it together but you want to definitely use a firm grip because nigiri means to nigiru and to nigiru in Japanese is to grip. So it's grip and not smash. It's really a fine line there, but you can see there between your palm and your fingertips, that's about where you want it to be able to sit. Now with your other hand, you want to show two fingers and you use those two fingers to point like so and really grip over the sushi. So when you have that, you use a combination of both those fingers from the side and also the other two fingers on your other hand to squeeze together like so. And it really is that fine line between you know overdoing it and doing it just right. So it does take a little bit of experimentation, but you use both hands like so to form that shape that you're really after. Um, when you're doing it in person, I think you'll really find out really quickly what we're talking about, exactly how you want to do it. So when you have the shape, you flip it over and you use your fingertip to basically poke a little bit of a holes to make it a little bit of a dome shape on the bottom. And then after you do that, you come again on the sides and on the top like so and really squeeze it together. And that's how you want it to look right there at the end. So thanks for watching. We appreciate likes and comments. And please